All right, hello everyone. I'm Wave, and welcome to Sword and Shield. Today we're just gonna get right into things. I want to be going into some uh, online Wi-Fi ranked matches. Here's the team. It's still early times. So I actually don't have a full six-member team. The, the starter here is just my in-game starter. All five of these are competitively bred mods. They don't all have the moves that they uh, I would want them to have because you have to trade with the uh, technical record traders in the wild area and the TRs that they have rotate out on a 24 hour basis and then if you guys are trying to get into that yourselves just know if you res or if you change the time on your switch it I think it gives you like a 48 hour like wait cooldown time in game so you can't just abuse the the traders you have to actually wait the full 24 hours um, here we have first member of the team we got extra drill focus sash this is like the most busted mon as far as I understand right now in 8th gen so you have sand force you're adamant and what you do is you rapid spin um, with the sash so that way you're guaranteed to get rapid spin off you get plus one speed then you uh, dynamax go for max like earthquake which gives you sandstorm and then that sets off your sand force which gives you boosted attack so it's pretty busted uh, you also got I, uh, I steel for coverage the moves right here we got iron head rapid spin earthquake stealth rock adamant nature max attacks max speed uh, next Pokemon we got Galarian rapidash life orb Timid Nature, Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Pastel Veil, Psychic, Calm Mind, Mystical Fire, and Dazzling Gleam. Finally got Calm Mind today, so I'm eager to test this out. We got a uh, Surfetched, it's a bulky Surfetched, uh, Adamant Nature, Max HP, Max Attack, Steadfast, Defog, Knock Off, Brave Bird, and Brick Break. Brave Bird's pretty nice because you can Dynamax and then use uh, Max Airstream. You get plus one speed, and then it doesn't even really matter that you're you have all that investment HP because then you're bulky and you're kind of fast. Uh, we got more Pico, which is holding Air Balloon. It's got uh, Jolly Nature, Max Attack, Max Speed, Hunger Switch, which a lot of people don't know what it does is so then you swap modes in between each turn so you start off as an electric well you're electric dark the whole time but you start off in full belly full belly mode and what you'll have is aura wheel this last attack here switches between which type you're on so on full belly mode it's electric and then in hangry mode it's dark type so it's pretty cool. Um, I want to get Ice Fang on my Morpico, but as I said earlier, still waiting on the traders. Um, that's that. And then I think this is the last one. We got Dragapult. I keep. I always want to call it like Dreadpult. Um, probably because Dreadnought. So it's Dragapult. Choice Scarf. I actually want to have Choice Specs on it, but I'm going to... Uh, Hopefully just grind out BP in ranked so I can get choice specs. We got, uh, it's actually, well it's modest, but as you can see here it's lonely by nature. So I actually used a modest candy on it to get it to modest nature. It's infiltrator, which means I can get past sub. And then on this, I really want to get shadow ball, but I'm still waiting on the trader. So it's only got uh, dragon darts in place, even though it's a special attacker. But we're running U-turn. Dragon Pulse and then Flamethrower and then this would be Shadow Ball so for stab but waiting on that and I think yeah that's everyone so let's just get right into it so I gotta go connect to the internet real quick and we can go into ranked I've actually done a decent amount of ranked so far not like a ton but I've definitely run into some people that knew what they're doing already so how it is is we just go 
I had trouble finding it at first too. So you go to versus, and then you just go to battle stadium, ranked. And then, as you can see, I'm Pokeball tier. I'm five, uh, tier five in Pokeball. I have won six games, lost three. We're gonna go in a single. And we'll see who our first opponent is. Oh, we got a Japanese player. We can actually check their opponent. So they've got Rapidash, Crawdont, uh, Chandelier, whatever the elephant is. I know it's a steel type. Cofagrigus, which I don't remember what type it is. And then uh, Lantern. So I'm thinking, I mean, Electric type looks pretty good. So more Pico kind of shreds his team. Especially if Cofagrigus is still Ghost type. More Pico kind of shreds. Uh... Excadrill kind of does work, and then who else? We kind of need something for Rapidash. We don't have Shadow Ball though. <laughs> if I had Shadow Ball, I could just bring uh, Dragapult. Let's go. Let's lead more Pico. We'll bring Excadrill, and then. I kind of want to bring Surf Edged. Yeah, let's bring Surf Edged. Especially for the elephant, since it's pure steel. We're gonna leave with Cofagrigus. I hope this thing is a uh... ghost. Okay, that already tells me, even though I've like never seen one. So we can just crunch turn one if we want to. But I don't know if I need to kind of keep more Pico or what. Um, I almost want to go out into Surf Edge. You know, we're just gonna crunch turn one see what he wants to do he might burn me I'd rather have burn on more Pico than on uh, surf edged oh, he's gonna trick room so we got the defense drop which is pretty good we're gonna aura wheel here we're just gonna hope that he like goes out in this oh he's gonna destiny on bond okay well Wasn't expecting Cofagrigus to just Destiny Bond. I don't think regular Cofagrigus runs that. That's more something like uh, Gengar. Oh well, goodbye, more Pico. Let's hope he didn't bring Chandelier. Um, we're gonna go into Surf Edge. Oh, okay, there we go. We chose the... Oh, no, I could have just Excadrilled, too. We're going to knock off first turn, I think. And then we'll Brick Brick after. Oh, he's going to Dynamax. Now, is this the uh, Gigantamax version? Or is this regular Dynamax? I know it's really hard to get Gigantamax. You have to raid for it, and it's just hard. Wait, I think that is, is that Dynamax or Gigantamax? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Oh, he's got a fairy type move? What? Oh, we barely live. I want his trick room run out. We're three turns in, I think. So we're going to knock off. Assault Vest. Okay. We're learning. I, like, I don't know what all this stuff does. Um, I guess we just sack. If he's, well, no. If he goes for... No, yeah. Because he's going to want an Earthquake here. Because 
he knows that he can kill me. So we kind of have to. I mean, if he goes for Starfall again... Okay, yeah. I don't know, we could have maybe gone out of the expert drill, but... Oh, well. Oh, okay, he's raising his defense. That's not good. We do have Focus Sash at the least. So I think that was turn four, so this is the last turn he's going to have. Trick Room up. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to just max Quake to get Sandstorm up this turn. And that'll activate Sand Rush, or not Sand Rush, Sand Force. So that way on his turn again, or not on his turn, but for next turn, we'll outspeed and we'll have boosted attack. And then we just gotta hope whatever his third Mon is, we can kill. I hope I kill after two Earthquakes from this though. I don't know how beefy he is. He's got one plus one defense, but we'll see. So he's gonna max flare. We've got Sash. We didn't need it anyway. That's good. He sets off that. We quake. Set up Sandstorm. We get boosted Spadef, which doesn't really matter, but his Trick Room runs out. We still got two more turns of Dynamax. If he has Protect here, that's kind of bad, but... Here we go. We Max Quake. We should kill this turn because we've got Sand Force. I don't know what mon that is. It's Crawdon. Oh, he could Aqua Jet me, and then it's all over. I could Max Guard, but I don't know. I guess I just have to go for it. Yeah, he's gonna Aqua Jet, he wins. That sucks. I could have tried max guarding there, but then I wouldn't be able to guard again on the next turn. He could just keep clicking Aqua Jet, so. That was a pretty close game, though. Oh, we actually lost points. I haven't actually experienced that yet. Uh, let's go to... The Toby Fox song. Almost down to a 50-50 ratio for win-losses. Uh, another Japanese player. I guess it's too early in the morning to be playing uh, people from my time zone. Hippo, Excadrill, oh, that's definitely a competitive sand team. That's very scary. Um, he might lead Rotom Wash, or he could just lead Ro uh, Hippo. Um, I definitely don't want to bring more Pico into this. I mean, it'll be good for the, the Dragapult, but, like, my Dragapult doesn't have a uh, Shadow Ball. Otherwise, I could bring it. And then just outspeed with Scarf. Uh, Galarian Rapidash is going to do nothing. I feel like it's Excadrill, that, and then... I guess I could still bring my Dragapult. Let's lead Surfetched. We'll bring Excadrill and then we'll bring Dragapult. Because at least we can depulse the other Dragapult, if anything. Even if it's Timid Nature, we still have Scarf. So we could win that way. I don't know what Mon that is. Oh, it's Hippo. That's what I thought. So the bad thing is, what could happen is that they set up Sand and maybe they just go straight into Excadrill. So I could Brick Break here. I don't know, man. Uh, we could just knock off and then 
if they go into extra drill we dynamax and then brick break at least we break sash if they go straight into extra drill smooth rock what is that this is gonna yawn me that's pretty bad oh, this is my second person I've seen online using yawn I can only imagine because it's 3v3 that it's like kind of more important to try and get you to switch. Uh, I don't think I kill with a Dragon Pulse if I go into Dragon Pulse. I don't know if it's better to just let Surf Edge sleep or what. So this is going to go for uh, EQ I think. And Dragon Pulse doesn't really want to take an EQ. I don't know, I guess Dragapult is less of a win condition than Surf Etched. I kind of need Surf Etched for Excadrill. We should eat one EQ, right? There's no reason why. Oh, he's going to set up Stealth Rock. Okay. He's going to break Sash at least. This is, I, I wouldn't expect to see Stealth Rock in 3v3 though. Alright. Um, I mean, if we D pulse here, we lock ourselves in, and then he just goes into extra drill for free. But I don't know. Uh, and I could make the play and go for a flamethrower, but. So he's got eight turns of sand, so this is. That was turn two. Let's just D pulse. If he goes into extra drill, we just hard swap into surf etched. Oh, that was a crit. So he's in an EQ. We live one. We kind of need to go for D pulse again. Oh, you know, I could Dynamax here. Then Max Wormwind. Just to secure kill. And that way, if he goes into Excadrill, we outspeed and we can swap to Max Flare. I think we do that. Right? Who else do I have on my team? Oh yeah, I had Excadrill. Oh well. He's running sand on his own team. So let's do that. We're gonna max Wormwind. He's gonna swap. I don't think he had a Fairy type, right? Oh, he's gonna go to Rotom Wash. Now the good thing about Dynamax is that even though I'm scarfed, so I would be locked into Dragon Pulse, I actually can swap max moves while I'm in Dynamax, which is kind of busted. And that's why Smogan probably gonna ban it, I don't know. Because Dynamax is kind of busted. Wow, that still did under half. If I was Specs, I would have done a lot more though. He really doesn't want to let his extra drill get hit, huh? So that was three turns, so he's got uh, still quite a few turns left. I guess we just gotta go for a warm wind again. He's probably gonna bolt switch into extra drill. But if he does that, then we can just max flare. Oh, no, they're gonna dynamax their Rotom Wash. That's kinda awkward. I mean, maybe they're not gonna use extra drill? I don't know. This match is just going to be extra drill v extra extra drill. Warm wind. This is going to do nothing now. That thing's way too bulky. Max darkness. What is it running? Oh, I eat that. Wow. How? I see we are faster. Way faster. And we're just going to max Wormwind again, I guess. What is Rotom Wash running to get Dark type? I don't know. I don't know what Dark-type Rotom Wash usually would run. 
So that was turn one of Road and Wash. So that's just, this is turn two. It's gonna max darkness again. I guess I could go into Surf Etched. But I don't know. I think he resists all my moves, doesn't he? He resists fighting. Or does electric resist fighting? I honestly don't know. Oh, but he could. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm faster than Rotom Wash or not. I can knock off, or I could go into this and rapid spin and hope I kill. Probably won't kill though. Oh, but you know what? We do have Sash, so we totally could do that. Let's do it. We're gonna rapid spin. Get the plus one. Oh, they DC'd, I think. Or I DC'd. Did I? Oh, I DC'd what? Oh, I had that. That's not a good look. That's a, that's the first time that's happened to me. I know that the online for this game is pretty bad. Like, if you want to trade, there's no GTS. You have to, like, go into... Like, if you want something specific, you gotta, like, go into a Discord channel just to get a trade with someone. So that's pretty bad. I could've won that. If they had Excadrill, all I had to do was Rapid Spin and then just EQ. Although, if they had Sash too, then we lost, but... I don't know. It's kind of a coin toss on whether or not their Excadrill had a Sash. Um, let's go... I don't even know what I'd want to run. Let's do... Gym Leader, I guess. I, I don't like the champion theme for this game. I actually listened back to it. The other day and it's super generic it's just like the theme that you usually have when you beat the elite four in any other game just remixed or it's like dun -na -na, dun -na -na -na. It's, it's really like generic uh, this guy looks like he has a full competitive team Mimikyu is gonna be scary Pharaoh oh he's ugh, this guy's disgusting he's using Pharaoh and Toxapex you got Flygon, Gengar, and uh, Hakamo-O. Or is it Komo-O? I forget which one is which. I think it's Komo-O. Um, Excadrill is definitely good here. Uh, Morpico might be good. Galarian Rapidash seems pretty, actually, pretty solid here. Um, what else? Excadrill, Rapidash, and then let's bring more Pico along just for fun. I don't know which we lead with though. What's he gonna lead with? He's gonna lead with Mimikyu or Pharaoh probably. Let's lead more Pico. If he leads Mimikyu, we can break uh, the thing first. Another number 999. Oh, we're definitely lagging. Uh, you know what? Maybe I got disconnected because I was playing with a Japanese player and the servers aren't great. I'll go with that. Alright, so we kind of get walled here. That's not good. Oh, but we have Outrage. We could just Outrage. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go for it. They're probably going to want to pop my... Uh... Oh, okay. never mind. They're going to pop my balloon right there. That did a lot. Oh, he's just going to go into Feral, huh? I completely forgot, forgot Flygon can just U-turn out. I thought he'd be pretty calm. Oh, wait.
Okay. So it looks like Rapidash is pretty good here because he brought two uh, dragon types with him. He's just gonna let his coma go down. I didn't even get to show off the uh, the wheel yet. Aura wheel is pretty good because it gives you plus one speed. So if your opponent like doesn't know what you do, you can just aura wheel, turn one, get the bo the boost, and then just do whatever. Um, I kind of just want to sack this. I got one kill with it already, so I think I'm kind of content. And I don't want Rapidash to take too much damage. Plus, I need to preserve Sash. So let's just uh, we're just gonna outrage. And if for some reason he like clicks something stupid, we get damage. That's what I thought. EQ would have done way too much to Rapidash. Let's go into Rapidash. We could Calm Mind here, as it may be like U-turns. That could be the play. Um, Let's Calm Mind. We should eat an EQ, if anything. What are they going to go into? Toxapex. Oh, that's bad. I needed him to bring uh, Pharaoh. Then I could have Mystical Fired. Alright, we definitely need Dynamax and then Max Mindstorm. This is especially defensive Toxapex, which it probably is, because they probably had a defensive Pharaoh. This probably isn't doing too much, but we'll see. We're plus one. We're going to Dynamax. They're probably going to Dynamax here just to wall me. I don't know. Oh, no, maybe not. They might just be trying to save Flygon. What? I one-shot Toxapex? That's crazy. We do have life orb, so maybe that helped. Or plus one life orb. And then here we're gonna go for max starfall. Is he faster? I don't know. It probably still is faster though. So he can use Crunch if need be. Lycon probably is faster. Oh wait, we are faster. So it's gonna hit him with a plus one life or max starfall. Not just one shots. There we go. Galarian Rapidash is finally putting in work. Probably shouldn't have brought two dragons. But I knew bringing Rapidash was going to be good because he had three or two dragons on his team. Plus, I did just one shot Toxpex. That's kind of crazy. So that's finally a win. I might do one more. Yeah, let's do one more. We got a little bit of points. Let's go back to the best battle theme in the game. We're gonna go to Marnie's battle theme. So we're seven and five right now. Can't believe that other guy had Pharaoh and Toxapex. It's taking a while to find a game now. I guess it is because it's specifically looking for Japanese players, I guess. I don't think I've ran into a regular player uh, or someone other from, like, outside of Japan yet, huh? Alright, let's 
spiny coin. Okay, there we go. Wait, why am I... I'm rank 5. Why am I going up against a rank 4? I couldn't find anyone else. So he's got Dragapult. He's got whatever that is. The, the Linoon Evolution. Rotom Heat, Frostmoth, Grimmsnarl, and then uh, Toxtricity. Toxtricity is kind of scary. Um, Dragapult's obviously scary. Um, what else can I bring? I'm thinking that Surfetched is probably a good play here. Um, Extra Drill is obviously good here. And then I guess I could bring Dragapult just in case. Let's leave Surfetched. Extra Drill. Dragapult. Let's do this. That way, if he brings Dragapult, we can outspeed and then depulse and then should one shot. Dragapult isn't exactly the bulkiest mod. Yeah, this is easily like the best battle theme in the game. Oh, he's just gonna leap with Dragapult. Now, the question is do I live one? of whatever he has. If he goes for Draco, I might not live. We're just gonna knock off turn one. That way if he specs, we actually- oh no, he's D-Dance. That's kinda scary. We might have to use our Dynamax here just to stop the sweep. Knock off. Oh, we just one shot. I think I just knock off again. Yeah, I think, I mean, I got the kill. I think I just knock off. Just spam knock off. He's gonna will o wisp me. But if I could get rid of his, like, choice scarf or. I mean, why would he have Willow if he's scarfed? If I could get rid of his, like, lefties or something, that's good. Wait, was he not holding anything? Wait, what? Oh, he's gonna trick, huh? Um, I don't know if I swap out into something or what. So he's fire electric. He's got levitate, which is kind of annoying. Do I go for the double knockoff? Predicting him to switch? I don't know, let's just brick break. Oh, he's a sub Rotom? What? That is very weird. Well, he can't really heal unless he has rest, so. Oh, and we still break sub. Let's go. You're not setting up sub on me. So his last mon is Grimmsnarl. Okay, as long as we can take out Rotom, we can just go for Excadrill for free. Alright, I think this is what we're going to do. So we're going to just keep Brick Breaking here. Because it actually does a decent chunk. He's going to Dynamax here. After we get taken out, we can just go straight into Excadrill, Rapid Spin, get plus one, live with Sash, and then Dynamax ourselves, EQ, and then we should just destroy. I outspeed? Okay. He's going to go for Starfall. That's going to easily destroy me. What else did I bring? I brought Excadrill. Oh no, I brought Dragapult, didn't I? I didn't bring more Pico. 
Yeah, I was gonna say Dragapult is not the play here. So we do have Sash. So even if he has like EQ or something here, we're kinda good. So what we do is we wrap its spin here. And then we Dynamax and then EQ. So we get plus one. Max Knuckle. We eat that. We don't even get dropped down to Sash. So he boosts his attack. Dynamax here and then we Max Quake. Oh, he forfeits. That's kind of uh, anticlimactic. Oh well, and there we have it. So we got two wins and then what? Technically two losses, because one was a DC on my part. There we go, we got Carbos. Uh, we can check his team. Sure, why not? So, he had Choice Specs Toxtricity. That looks like in-game team, though. That's not bread. Uh, Grimmsnarl, Prankster. Yeah, this is in-game stuff, what? Assault Fest, though. Spirit Break. Boom Burst. Frost Moth. That's also in game. Rotom. Levitate. Obstagoon. Huh. Yeah, alright. We'll call it there. We're gonna quit. And then we're just gonna go here. Update rank. There we go. Almost, I think, to Great Ball tier. Alright, I think that'll call it for there. Um, so as you can see, even the people online are kind of struggling to get IV trained. And like I said, technical records makes it really hard kind of to try and build teams because you only get one use. I think if I go in my bag here, it's uh, it's not looking too hot. I've got like one copy of like Hydro Pump and then like Tazzling Gleam, Scald, Earthquake and stuff. But it's still pretty hard. So I've got like Psy Shock and stuff, Spikes. But I don't know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check to see if there's anyone that's done ranked online yet. But hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed. You can see kind of a little bit of the early ranked experience. I want to do more of these videos as time goes on. Hopefully I can rise up in the ranks and uh, make some more Pokemon. So until next time, I'll see you guys then.